welcome back to the second episode of Grime and Punishment. This time, we'll be showing you the work we're doing to crack down on counterfeit clothes, illegal street traders, and suspected illegal puppy breeding. Firstly, a wannabe Dell boy has been found guilty in court for selling counterfeit designer clothes at Dagenham Sunday Market. Kane McCarthy from Romford had 436 items of counterfeit clothing seized, which included fake Ralph Lauren and Nike jumpers, t-shirts, and tracksuits. All items were very low quality, and he was ordered to pay £4,440.40 £40 for proceeds of crime, fined £500 and charged £1,000 in costs. If you want to tip us off about concerns you have about local businesses or traders, you can confidentially email the Trading Standards team at tradingstandards at lbbd.gov.uk. When a resident records counterfeit goods on sale, uh, we first of all we have to make sure that it, it, they are counterfeit. And that may be that we'll do a test purchase, we'll visit the premises, we'll visit the online site. Um, that could take about a week, two weeks to arrange. After that, we maybe have to arrange a warrant and we have to talk to our police colleagues. That can take up to a month to actually arrange. And after that, we'll actually go onto the premises, seize the goods and then they have to be examined by representatives. Once they've been examined, we find out that they're counterfeit, then we invite the trader to come for an interview. And that can take quite a long time because we have to talk to their legal representative. So by that stage, we could be talking three or four months from the initial report to the actual interview. Once the interview's taken place, a report is prepared for legal services, and after that, a summons is laid. That will be the first hearing at the Magistrates' Court. With many of our cases, they, they go up to the Crown Court, and for the Crown Court, there can be further delays. Also, if we're looking at proceeds of crime or confiscation proceedings, there has to be a full financial investigation of the traders and any of their associates. That explains why sometimes it can take up to a year or a year and a half, or even sometimes longer than that, before you actually have the initial report to the conviction. Also, last month, two illegal street traders who fell foul of the law had their goods confiscated thanks to a joint operation by council enforcement officers and the police. Outside Paddy Power in Barking, a man was caught trying to flog perfume and airpods to casual bypassers. In total, we seized 14 bottles of perfume and four sets of Apple airpods. Later that day, officers caught a woman trying to flog counterfeit goods in McDonald's. They confiscated over 2,600 cigarettes 5.3 kilos of rolling tobacco and 74 DVDs. Last month, we raided a suspected illegal puppy farm after receiving several tip-offs. Illegal puppy farms are bad news because the dogs are often kept in poor conditions and the puppies are being sold, often have ill health and die not long after unsuspecting dog lovers have bought them. In this particular case, our officers visited the premises and found nine dogs, including Huskies, Staffordshire Terriers, and a French Bulldog in terrible conditions. Some of them were chained up and left in their own feces with no clean water, or others were being kept in a dirty bathroom. The suspect had been flogging these dogs for at least 700 pounds each. We won't tolerate dogs being treated like this, and we've taken them to kennels where they'll be kept safe while the investigation continues. We'll hopefully be able to give you an update on this matter in a future episode. In December, our enforcement team responded to 24 animal related reports, 88 vehicle related reports, 108 rubbish, litter, fly tip related reports, and 167 eyesore garden related reports. Just a reminder, we take all of your reports seriously. Unfortunately, investigations aren't always straightforward and can take a while to complete, years in some cases. This is due to the complex processes we have to follow by law. Keep your reports coming in though, and we will continue to investigate them all. 